What's up guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT, and you want to get those spotlight challenges done, hit up my new sponsor DVDJ and use code YOURBOYBUGS for 10% off a checkout. And yeah man, check them out. What's good guys, if you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good YouTube, it's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video, and guys, today... We do have the new moments cards. Honestly, I'm not a fan of them. So we're going to go over the stats. We're going to go over the new cards. And honestly, I don't know how I feel about these cards. Honestly, if you have a really good team, you will not be able to use these cards. They're not usable if you do have a good team like mine. But they are in these packs. Trey Young is out of these packs as well. These are out of the packs. I mean, the, the Trey Young is out of packs. So hopefully his price will rise. But yeah, man, these packs are... Uh, I don't know how I feel about these packs. If you're really going to waste your MT on them, I really wouldn't. But yeah, we're going to go over the stats, we're going to go over pricing, they are live in packs, and honestly, I'll pop one for you guys. Personally, I don't know, these packs seem like a giant waste of MT, I really would not recommend you guys buy it. Like, yeah, I figured I would get that, so yeah, that's an L right there. What you going to do, man, like, what you going to do? So, let's go over the stats, these are the cards, CJ McCollum is honestly my favorite one in the set, Chase and Tatum. And Beal don't really have good defense, and but like I love CJ McCollum's. They really don't all though have defense, but I love CJ McCollum's um, like jump shot every year. So they've been out for a little while, but here it is, man. CJ McCollum, here we go. 99 and 92 defense, pretty solid. 3.93. So I'm comparing him to Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy. He is actually pretty solid. Um, I, obviously Galaxy Opal Brandon Roy is gonna be better. He's more of a playmaker than him. He is 6'3", and he honestly can play point guard, but his defense is really bad. Um, he actually has really good rebounding, unless that's lag. I don't know why he has such good rebounding. I guess he got a triple double or something. 92 speed, 92 speed of ball. Pretty solid card, I would say. He's going to be really cheap, honestly. There's no way. If you pay over 100k for this card, you are a literal bozo. This card will be probably under 50k very soon. Pretty decent card, I would say. Next up, oh wait, hold on. Let's see if he has clamps. I don't know if he does. I don't know why it's lagging. Why is it lagging? Um, let's see. I think he does have clamps. I'm not totally sure. Here we go. Let's see. He has 20 Hall of Fame badges. What the frick is going on, 2K? He has 20? Like, wh what are they doing? Like, honestly, what are they doing? All right. Honestly, his shooting stats are disgusting. His defense. Honestly, bro, I kind of want to use this card. This card's, I know CJ McCollum's always money. Honestly, I like that card. But other than that, this content's not good. This Tatum's going to be way overpriced. 97 overall Tatum. 99, 93. Honestly, bro, I would stay away from this card. This card, it's all right, I guess. It just reminds me of diamonds, bro. You could get a diamond like Carmelo that's cheaper. Like, I don't know. These cards aren't going to be really worth it price-wise because there's so many better cards. Like Lamar Odom. It's going to be better than this card. Free Giannis is going to be better than this card, you know? So that's why I really don't feel like these cards are worth picking up. He does have Hall of Fame clamps and all, but I don't know, man. His stats are pretty damn good, though. I'm not going to say his stats aren't good, but, like, there are just so many other cards that, like, I feel like they're just pretty much doing this to raise your collector level at this point. Like, I don't know, bro. All right, yeah, his speed. Like, I don't know. If you, if you have a top team or even a, a budget team, he's just in the middle. And honestly, in the middle, there's no point of getting, like... You got to have either budget or not budget, and he's in the middle, and honestly, it makes him a terrible card. In my opinion, it's in my opinion. You you could disagree with me, but dude, this Jimmy Butler is going to finish cheaper than him. In my opinion, better. Kobe Bryant, Diamond, one of the best cards in the game, in my opinion. Um, Green Machine, bro. He, he greens everything. He's going to be cheaper than him. Very similar stats. It just keeps going, you know. There's a lot of the Lamar Odom's gonna be cheaper. Diamond Kenya Martin, Diamond Trophy Billups. Like I said, these cards are really not usable if you know how to play the game and you do know like the budget cards and stuff. So that's just my opinion, though. Let's check out this Beal. I heard this Beal doesn't really have any good defense either, but we're gonna check it out anyways. Let's see, Bradley Beal, Pink Diamond. Honestly, I was really hoping he had good defense, but I don't think he does. He does have a 95-3. Um, his defense is atrocious. <sighs> I just don't know, man. They dropped these. They dropped 97 overalls with terrible defense. I don't understand. I'm pretty sure Beal's pretty good at defense. 6'5", shooting guard. Can he play point? 
Uh, six five shooting guard. He has no clamps. He's terrible. Uh, I'm not gonna be using this card either. If you compare him to my Roy, my Vince Carter, my MJ, and my D Wade, I mean, you know the deal. And Tracy and Reggie. Um, personally, bro, if you guys have enough tokens to cop Reggie Lewis, I would definitely get him. He's so good for me. His jump shot's really good. He has a ton of really good goal badges and Hall of Fame badges. And he has gold clamps. I definitely would recommend trying him out. So, Bradley Beal's nothing special. And I heard they botched his Kobe White because he has no, uh, what is it called? Deep range or something? What's the badge? I can't think of. I don't know why I can't think of. Limitless range? It's not limitless range. It's, uh... Wow, I'm actually that dumb. I can't remember the badge. Is it... Why can't... Yo, am I dumb or... St am I stupid? I guess I forgot the badge. I know Westbrook has it. It is range extender. Why couldn't that... Why can't I think of that? I already doesn't have range extender, which is an L. I guess he did good yesterday from three. I, I don't know. That's what I heard from my subs. I have no idea. But supposedly he got snubbed. He's actually really good. 6'5 point guard. I like this card. This card is probably one of the best cards. And he has a 92 three-point shot. Dude, and a 75 dunk. Pretty decent defense. This is this is interesting. Alright, he's going to be a really good bunch of baller for me, myself. I'll probably end up picking him up for sure. Honestly, I like this card. 6'5 point guard. He has 93 speed. Pretty solid. He's going to probably go for around 5k. I actually really do like this card. Right now, what I would recommend doing... Honestly, there is new content. So, maybe we could pick up some of these cards on Snipe. So, honestly, what would I do? Let's see. Let's check out some filters real quick for you guys. Um, let's see if there's any Pink Diamond Moments filters we could rock right now. Uh, so, we got McCom out of Point Guard. We got the Beal and we got the Tatum. <sighs> honestly, bro. Like I said, I would stick to this filter for sure. Power four pink diamond moments, bro. You get Kawhi. You get Zion. You could get Giannis. Honestly, yeah. I would definitely stick to this filter. I'm going to show you right now who you can get into it if you guys don't know. You get Aaron Gordon, Zion, Giannis, and Kawhi. Now they are all out of packs. If you get one of them, you're going to make a lot of MT. And also, bro, with this content, it looks like 2K is going back to the old phase. Looks like they're not going to drop anything crazy for a little bit. So with that being said, it looks like... Market's going to keep continue to rise and whatnot. So that's good for us. I really do think they are going to keep rising the market. If that happens, bro, we're fine because we spent a, a ton of MT on cards. And, yo, if it keeps happening and happening and happening and the market keeps going up and up and up, our Galaxy Obos are going to go up as well. And right now, uh, our Galaxy Obos are slowly going up. Vince Carter at 260 was at 189 last night. No joke. I swear to you guys. And, dude, I don't even see one MJ up here. Did I botch or something? Yo, where's MJ? I didn't even see one MJ. We might be in business, people. 291K with an hour three left. It looks like they are starting to gain their value. Like I said, they're not in packs. We should see them rise a little bit. I would definitely recommend trying to snipe one of these pink diamonds. If you really want to snipe a pink diamond, I think, in my opinion, it would be Tatum. Tatum is probably the best one to snipe. Uh, let's see. Tatum with 110k. An hour or something left. Bro, honestly, this is a method. Pink Diamond, Tatum, 100k. Whatever pops up, you buy. If you get the old Tatum as well, he's mad expensive. So I might sit on this filter all day. Whatever you get, bro, you're making mad MT regardless. So if you sit on this filter for about one hour, I honestly almost guaranteed you could get one of these tatums honestly if you get any of them you're in business you're gonna make a lot a lot of mt so honestly my wish to you bro i hope you guys all do get them i'm probably gonna sit here for a couple hours trying to get one i'm trying to make more mt before i kd before i buy kd if i can make another 300,000 mt and then buy kd and then have 300k mt sitting there that's a lot better but also i do think kd's price is gonna drop because dude galaxy opals always drop 2K's market never ever stays up high. They always drop in value. So like I said, bro, make sure to sell your cards. And uh, I'm not sell your cards. If you want to sell your cards, make sure to hold on to your ovals for now. But then again, bro, they always do drop in value. So I'm not totally sure. But I think Galaxy Obels will rise by the end of this week. You should probably sell them by like Thursday or Friday. But before whatever content comes out, whenever they drop a, a trailer, that's when you want to sell ASAP. But yeah, other than that, 
That's really all I got, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy the new content. Personally, not really a fan. I do like the Colby White, but that's about it. The CJ McCollum's decent. But yeah, try out the snipe filters. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a good one. Peace.